I know where you washed up when she went down. Yeah, I know you know. I told you. Seven Mile Beach. No, I'm Minarini Beach. No, no, no. That's two hours north. It's a woman's beach. That's why the Aborigines lied to you. To save you from being laughed at. We have to get beyond these islands. Almost to Fitzgerald Reef. I know how. I'll be back in three hours. Stay on the beach, OK? We'll be right here when you get back, Mr. Stepman. <laughs> Driving helmet, I think. It's the faceplate. Hey, what's that lettering? No idea. But look, TBT. Truth be told. And if we've found the truth be told, then we've found the ocean star. Deadly. So let's go diving. But what if it's not? How do we find out for sure? I knew you'd say that. Come on. No. What? Are you sure? No, no, it's definitely not from the truth be told. But it says TBT. Taylor Barton Thompson. They are the company that made all the diving equipment. But are you really, really sure? Look, I, I know a bit about diving helmets. I've been collecting them for years. It has to be. Thank you, Mr. Um, Clive. Uh, sorry, it's not better news. Believe me, no one wants the truth be told found more than I do. Right back. The calculations were correct. Maybe I should start again and replot the data. That way we can go back out and. Well, obviously not today. Yeah, or any other day. Hey, where are you going? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sorry, Dad. I was carting bricks on a building site at 14 and never looked back. You don't take this rubbish seriously. Why not? I'd hate you to turn out like Reg Davies. He's rich. I always hoped you'd go to university. I'd rather be out there learning from the School of Hard Knocks. Like Reg Davies? Things are happening for me up here. I've got opportunities I never thought I'd have. I can get a job as a diver tomorrow. And leave school? Can't you be a little excited for me? Dylan, as your father... Bit late for that, isn't it? This is my house, and while you live under my roof, you live by my rules. If I could get my hands on the 1962 chart instead of the 1963 chart that I initially used, I could calculate the difference, taking into account the tidal range. What is it? Look! Helmet from the museum. What's he doing with it? Hi, oh, Trent. You were up and off early this morning. I had something important to do, but now I don't. Got any metal polish? In the kitchen, second drawer down. Dylan around? I'm afraid he's gone. Yeah, let me guess. Diving? I told you he's gone. Gone for good. 
we had an argument. I laid down some very legitimate ground rules for living under this roof, and before I knew it, he'd packed his bags and was out the door. Oh, well, that's great. Just great. Hey! You know you're breaking about five council regulations and one very important rule of life? What's that? Never mess with Reg Davies' car. Oh, these could do with some jazzing up. You've got to sell you, make an impression. This is the brightest paper I could get. Oh, it's good, but where's your photo? Your name? These need to say you need me. Right now they say I need you. It's desperate. Won't need them much longer. I'm looking for a permanent job. But aren't you still at high school? You're the one who told me I'd learn more from the School of Hard Knocks. It's good to see you listening. Yeah. Good luck. Have you got any work? Me? I work harder than anyone you'll ever meet in your life. I'm meant for me. Maybe. First, you've got to prove to me you've got what it takes. How do I do that? Well, if you can't figure that out for yourself, I don't need you. I can't see. <gasps> We've lost him. There he is. He'll be back. You don't know, Dylan. If he's moved out, he's moved out. It wasn't that serious. Then why did he go? OK, what I said may have sounded serious, but... Look, why don't I come with you? Are you going to say you're sorry and ask him to come home? And there's not much point in coming. He's at the checkout. Why are you spying on Clive? Get down! Has this got something to do with the ocean star? As if. You know Clive makes up stuff. Talks rubbish. Yeah. I swear I won't tell. I promise. I helped you with the turtle, didn't I? I've learnt my lesson. You swear you won't tell. I swear. Yesterday we looked in a new spot and found something. But Clive swore it wasn't from the truth be told. And now he's acting all weird. So what did you find? Look! We so have to find the others. Did he apologise? Sort of. Oh, I'm not coming back. I've got my pride and I don't need him. What am I going to do with the takeaway king all by myself? Oh, you'll be fine. He'll feel guilty and overcompensate. Sky's the limit. Not much fun if you're not around. <laughs> what about you? What are you going to eat? Where are you going to sleep? <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I ran out of tape. Oh, I've got some here. <laughs> Looks like I've got some work. <laughs> yes, I'm available any day. I was just passing an offer to help. Yep. Yep, I know where. I'll just get a pen. Oh, of course I can walk. What's this? Oh, something we found yesterday. Polish it up, thought I could get something for it. Spaghetti and meatballs. Good. Oh, cool. What does it say? Made in Japan? No. It says Fujiwara. This has to be from my grandfather's helmet. No way. Clive said it had nothing to do with the truth be told. Clive lied. Boy, have we got some news for you? Trust me, our news is bigger. It can't be. Wanna bet? Clive lied to us. The faceplate is from Susie's grandfather's helmet. It's from the truth be told. So that means that he's going to die for the ocean and star himself. And we have to get there before he does. Let's go. Go on, guys. 
Did you get the sign off? Yup, and I got my dad's global positioning system. Then all we need now is Carla. Carla? Yeah, I promised her we'd wait. We're already running late. I don't even get why she's coming. Okay, let's go. With the tide in, we'll be fine crossing the roof this time. And after that, we can pinpoint the exact position from before with the GPS. Leo, just tell Spider the way to go. Okay, okay. Stop. What? Next right. And it should be just about here. What are you kids doing here? What are you doing? Fishing. We're doing research for a, a school project. It's on slippery eels. <laughs> you won't find any of them round here. You'd be surprised. I thought we were doing this together. Not anymore. Fine. If that's the way you want it. Too. No, I thought I'd have a picnic. We waited for you. I got a better offer. Yeah, so did Clive. So, we all just happened to be out here, hanging out. Just as well, we're in the wrong bay. It's the next island along. Leo! Quickly, next island, now! Oh. <laughs> Start without the fuel line. You idiot! Why did you take the fuel line out? They'll win us to the wreck. No, they won't. What? But, but you said. We're already in the right spot. I just thought we needed some privacy. <laughs> 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 okay, quick, let's get diving before they come back. Clive. Gone. Can't believe he'd leave me here. Ah, oh, that's your fault for siding with the enemy. Hang on. Why should we let you on our boat? The Sim and brothers share everything, including boats. Okay, if that's the way you want to play it, then you work for us. Do I have a choice? No. You'll pay for this when we get home, midget. No, I won't. You don't live there anymore.
I don't know, but there's much, much more down there, a whole ship's worth. Pass me the bag. We found it. Deadly. I told you. I told you it was here. I can't believe it. We found it. We found the truth we told. <laughs> Do you think there'll be gold down there? The wreck's only been down there for 40 years. There'll be no gold on it. I still reckon there'll be dead bodies down there. Green and yucky ones. Spider, Sissy's grandmother was down there. Sorry. Just for the record, there wouldn't be any flesh on a human body after such an extended period of time under water. Trent, what do you reckon? Give me the head. He's got more stuff. Any treasure? Probably. But I need to go back down and have another look. We should go. What? If Clive and Carla come back, they'll see what we've got. There's so much more stuff down there. We do want it for ourselves, right? Good. Come on. Leo, you got the coordinates? You betcha. Then let's go. Told you I'd find the truth be told. You haven't found the pearl yet. Go on, Gemma. Oh, all right. Trent, you were right. Trent was right. Shut, Shut up, Trent. Trent. stuff up. I say we all get one piece each and Dylan gets the rest. No way. That's not fair. Hey, he did do the hard work and it was pretty dangerous down there. But we've been searching for this for ages. What do you think, Gemma? Trent's right. That's how we do it. Thanks, Midget. You need it more than I do. But who goes first? Gemma? Dylan should. That sounds fair. Your turn, little bro. I'll choose this block of wood. Wait a minute. I'm not after money. This was the first thing we brought up. Sentimental value, huh? When everyone was just about to give up, I kept going. Through tides and scorn, through deserts Let and... Let me see that. Oh, I'm just joking. I don't really want this block of wood. You want a joke? It's done. No, but... No, look, you're stuck with it. Who wants the next pick? But... Where are all your little mates? Stop following me or I'll tell Daddy. Not till you answer my questions. My boat's far too big to get up that little channel, so I had no idea. At least we know they're back on shore. Yeah, well, I'll, we'll be out there tomorrow looking for the ocean star. Will you? That depends. Will you? Why would I tell you? Because you're such a nice, kind, sweet, thoughtful little angel, of course. Stop that right now. They'll never find the ocean star, and neither will you. I know where the wreck is. I've got Daddy's boat and a diver. They don't. A diver? Uh, I've got to go. Or something? Uh, no, of course not. Uh, look, yeah, you, you wouldn't happen to know if that Dylan kid's a strong swimmer, would you? I try and know as little as possible about people that annoy me. What was that all about? We just lost some genuinely valuable items. You've got to trust me on this one, guys. I know what I'm doing. I think it's the pearl box. No way. Let me see. He's right. The ocean star should be in here. Pity we don't have the key. 
Don't tell me we have to dive down and find the wreck again. No, the key was left on shore, so only the owner of the ship could open the box. But where's the key now? You had me so worried. I just got Raymond to take me out on the boat. Without telling anyone. What if something happened? It didn't. But if it did, you could have got lost under a rock forever. You know Daddy doesn't like to punish you, but I'm afraid you can't use the boat for a month. Don't be cross with me. I'm not cross, just worried. If you got lost, I couldn't go on living. I really wanted to use the boat tomorrow. Tomorrow is the Shinju Matsuri Parade. It's in the afternoon. I wanted to use the boat in the morning. Daddy did say no. You wouldn't say no if you loved me. Well, you know I love you. Don't you? If you take Raymond and the satellite tracking device and a mobile phone, you can use the boat. The best daddy in the whole world. I know. These are just normal pearls. But I was so sure. Star. 